Hey guys, Emily Maynard here with Elemental Living. Um, and I am going to share with you guys some tips uh, to incorporate mindfulness into your day. Um, but before we jump into that, let's start with a really long deep breath, just as we always do to get yourself centered and come into this um, virtual space together. So go ahead and close your eyes, sit up really nice and tall and give yourself a deep breath in through the nose and let it out through the mouth with a big sigh. Good. And then seal the lips. Let the jaw stay nice and soft. The forehead is relaxed. And just start to trace the breath in through your nose, through the back of the throat, and all the way down into the belly, and then back out of the body. And just give yourself a couple rounds. And then when you're ready, you can open your eyes and return yourself back to the video. <clears throat> it always just feels good to um, get centered and check in with how you're feeling. And that's a great segue into um, our topic today, mindfulness, um, or maybe uh, moving through your day with intention. That's a little bit more in line with what I'm talking about. Um, mindfulness is a really broad topic, and I think that warrants its own video or own blog posts. Um, so today we're just going to be really particular um, and really narrow and talk about uh, being aware and using awareness as a tool to help you stay present throughout your day. Um, and this video I'm actually creating because I've noticed this week I have not been very mindful. I wouldn't say I've been careless, but I've definitely noticed little things, little habits and patterns throughout the day that indicate to me, they're like little red flags that pop up that go, Emily, you're not paying attention. Um, today, I was walking into my corporate class and um, I was sharing on Instagram stories as I often do and laughing at myself because I had this weird spike of anxiety that I had gotten the time wrong or that I was running late, which I wasn't, and I have not done that. Um, the class and the time has been the same for three years. I mean, I, I know my schedule, I know my routine, but when we get into a place where we are kind of overrun with either tasks or thoughts, we have a tendency to kind of create a little bit of self-doubt which manifests into um, anxiety in a lot of cases. So I had this big spike of um, anxiety because I didn't really trust myself to stay on top of everything. I wasn't being present. And then immediately following that, um, I walk into the restroom to change clothes and get ready for my class. The light was already on and the first thing I did is turn off the light because I wasn't paying attention. It's these little mindless activities, you know, um, that that are great messengers to tell us that we're just not being fully present and that you know these are little things that they didn't cause any harm in my day or in the grand picture of my life but if I continue this careless behavior um, it could start impacting my workflow it could start impacting my relationships and so on um, so what I want to share with you today is just a little commitment of what I'm going to do to get myself back on track and to re-engage um, with uh, the present moment with mindfulness practices, that sort of thing. So a little bit of meditation is always a great tool to use. That's something that I do every morning, um, whether it's one minute or 20 minutes. Um, so I've already got this morning meditation practice, but because my day is kind of snowballing and I'm finding myself being less present, I am committing to you and to myself to add in some sort of afternoon meditation and check-in. So what I'd like to see happen is around the middle of the afternoon, sometime after lunch, but before the end of the work day, um, about a three minute meditation and check-in. Uh, so that's the first thing that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have a mid-afternoon meditation that just brings me back to center, brings me back to focus. The second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add something on to this meditation, and you can do this anytime, but I am going to, um, I guess, 
indulge my senses, for lack of a better term, um, and just become aware of my environment. So before I let myself go completely into meditation and breathing, what I'm going to do is is have you know all distractions off. I'm going to look around the room and actually see what's there, see what's outside, notice the plants that are in my office, or notice the sounds that are outside the window. Let yourself go fully into a sensory experience. What do you smell around you? What do you see? What are the colors? Um, what is the temperature in the room? Are you hot? Are you cold? Give yourself a full check-in of your environment to really bring yourself in the present. Um, this is a great meditation that I do with clients and yoga students where we, when they close their eyes, they start noticing the furthest sound away. They go fully into whatever that distraction could be and then allow their mind to come closer and closer. So it's kind of the same thing. To be present in the moment, allow yourself to see fully everything that's around you, to smell, to, um, to feel, to, you know, whatever, whatever's around you, whatever you're called to. And I'm saying you, but I mean me also. Um, and the third thing I'm going to do is hit the pause button right before a meal. So this is something that I talk about in nutrition workshops that I offer around Birmingham. Um, and it's a great way to just make sure not only that you're being mindful with your food, but also staying present in the moment. So what I mean by that is before you eat your food, even if you're in a rush, take a moment, look down at the food that you're about to eat, acknowledge it, see the colors that are on your plate, acknowledge the vitality that lives in your food, um, just become fully aware of everything. Like, does it look appetizing? Does it make you salivate a little bit? Um, look at everything, acknowledge it. Maybe there's a prayer, maybe there's gratitude. Maybe it's simply acknowledging it um, before you start to eat. And then you can proceed with your meal and your busy day as usual. Um, these are three things that have just kind of come to mind to me today as I've felt this pull back towards mindfulness. We're in a transition season right now, so it can make a lot of us feel a bit scattered when the weather changes, when we shift from spring to summer. Um, you know, it's getting hotter or it's warmer and warmer. Um, so this is just a great way to keep us present, keep us engaged with our own body and what's happening all around us. So I'm committing to do this for um, five days. I'm going to start immediately. Basically, I'm going to start my little meditation this afternoon. Um, and I hope you join me on it. I'd love to hear if it's something that helps you, whether you take one of these tips or all three. But just to recap, it is a little afternoon meditation, a sensory awareness exercise, we'll call it, and um, an acknowledgement of mealtime, you know, a, a sense of presence with your food. Um, so very simple things. They don't add a lot of time into your day. So yeah, I hope you guys find this helpful. Please let me know. Um, Louie wants to know too. Let us know how this worked for you if you, um, if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.